The three-wheel switchblade is more akin to conventional light aircraft than the ever-growing number of flying cars pitched in recent months, eschewing vertical takeoff and landing (VTOL) due to lack of infrastructure, landing and takeoff points, and to flying cars' relative lack of range and speed. Dreams about Uber's flying car effort here. With a cruising altitude of 13,000 feet and a 200 miles per hour top speed in the air, the two-seater features extendable wings and a retractable tail that fold out, either manually or electronically, with this currently undeveloped option specified, and extend for flight. The Switchblade's top ground speed is in excess of 100 miles per hour. In ground mode, the car is 5.1 meters long or the same length as the standard wheelbase Mercedes-Benz S-Car. It's around 330 millimeters narrower, though, at just 1.8 meters wide. In flight mode, the switchblade's length increases to 6.2 meters with the tail extended, while the wings fold out for a wingspan of 8.2 meters. The car's takeoff weight is 794 kilograms, or around a third more than the aerial atom. Takeoff and landing distances are 335 meters and 488 meters respectively, and although the car's 26 feet twins and doesn't allow road-based takeoffs, Samson claims that the car will be able to be flown from regular airports. At around 80 miles per hour, the car takes off naturally if the wings are extended, says Samson.